Hello and welcome to another episode of Cancer Education Research Institute, the first and only simplified multi-language global cancer non-profit organization. Today we are going to talk about cancer types. We all might have heard the words sarcoma, carcinoma, melanoma, and as we can hear, all these words have a oma suffix. The oma suffix comes from Greek and it means tumor, growth, or swelling. Since cancer can occur from many different cell types and anywhere in the body, this oma suffix has been used to refer to the origination and or location of a certain cancer type. Let's have a closer look of such cancer types to get a better understanding. Carcinomas. The word carcinos comes from Greek mythology and it was named after a crab called carcinos. This word later has been Latinized to carcinos and as we just have learned, oma means tumor. So carcinomas are the most common types of cancer. They are solid tumors and are originating from tissue that lines the inner and outer surface of the body. They can occur in several places of the body such as skin, mouth, nose, throat, lungs, genitourinary and gastrointestinal tracts and glands such as breast or thyroid. Examples for such carcinomas can be adenocarcinoma of the breast, squamous cell carcinoma of the lung, and basal cell carcinoma of the skin. Some cancer scientists have also thought that the word carcinos have been given to carcinomas because the way the tumor grabs the surrounding tissue like the claws of the crab and therefore such tumors are hard to remove. Sarcomas. The word sarx means in Greek flesh and as we just learned oma means tumor. Sarcomas are also solid tumors and are originating from the connective tissue such as bone and muscles. Sarcomas can also form in the surrounding tissue of several major organs such as bladder, kidneys, liver, lungs and spleen. Example for sarcoma can be leiomyosarcoma of the uterus. Melanoma. Melan means in Greek pigmented, black or ink and oma means tumor. This refers to the dark pigment made by tumor cells within the skin cancer. Most skin cancer are easily cured by simply removing them. Not so with melanoma because melanoma is the most deadly type of skin cancer and can also spread even years after it's seemingly cured after a successful treatment. We have a video on how you can protect yourself from dangerous UV lights from the sun which may cause skin cancer. Leukemias. Leukos means white and hyma means blood. Leukemias can form in the blood and in bone marrow and it occurs when abnormal white blood cells replacing the normal white blood cells and circulating in the bloodstream within the body. Myelomas. The word myelo means bone marrow and oma means tumor. So as you can understand, it's the tumor of bone marrow. Indeed, myelomas or multiple myelomas, also known as plasma cell myeloma or Kallers disease, are tumors that are originating from the bone marrow plasma cells that are responsible for producing antibody. Lymphomas. Lymphomas are found in glands and nodes of the lymphatic system. Lymph nodes are small round masses of tissue and are concentrated in several places of the body such as neck, groin, 
armpits, spleen, center of the chest, around the intestines. Lymphomas are solid tumors and can occur when lymphocytes become abnormal. Lymphocytes are white blood cells and a part of the immune system which helps protect the body from infection and disease. Hodgkin's lymphoma and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma are the most common types of lymphomas. The cancer types I mentioned here are all malignant, but there are also words ending with OMA but may refer to benign tumors. An example for this can be leiomyoma. Leio comes from the Greek word leios, which means smooth. Mio comes from the Greek word mis, which means muscle, and oma means tumor. These benign tumors are made of smooth muscle tissue commonly found in the uterus. Uterine leiomyomas are also called fibroids. Leiomyomas can also develop elsewhere in the body, especially in the intestinal tract. Beside all these tumors described here, there are also other words ending with oma, which has nothing to do with either tumor or swelling. An example for this can be glaucoma. Glaucoma is a condition in the eye, which occurs when the eye has an inner pressure and threatens the vision if it's undetected or untreated. Another example can be coma, which is a state of unconsciousness. Thanks for watching. This video was made possible by viewers and supporters like you. If you like this video, give us a big like and you can also support us by watching our other videos right here, by subscribing to our YouTube channel down here, and by donating to our nonprofit organization on our website right here. Thanks again for watching. I will see you next episode. Be healthy, be happy, and take care.